Hey guys, Target Recycle and FPV. It is about one o'clock in the morning on the 18th of June. Hope you guys are having a good morning. Probably most of y'all are sleeping. Anyways, listen, um, I'm finishing up a drone right now. This is actually our new, this is the one that I've been designing for a while. It's our new uh, Cyclone Cinewoop, I guess is what you want to call it. Um, but it's extremely, it, it's very custom and it's, uh, it's, it's very light. It flies like a champion. Uh, I'm very excited about it. I'm going to be introducing that to you guys in the next, in the few days coming up. But I found a problem today and I thought, well, you know what, this is a great time to show you guys. So here's the deal. This is the quad right here. Uh, this is the cinema right here. And this is the Cadex Tarsier. Um, and I'm assuming that I'm pronouncing it right. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it until otherwise corrected. So uh, actually this is one that was in a, um, a quad that caught on fire. So, but there was a part on here that I'm gonna use, but here's the deal. So I was using it and um, all of a sudden, and I'm gonna take this monitor off of here so you guys can see what I'm talking about, okay? So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just quit working. Um, next thing you know, I've got a blank screen. Uh, it's, you know, I, I know the VTX is working because I can see the OSD, but I've got nothing on the screen at all, okay? It's just black. And so I kind of was struggling with it, and then I noticed that the ribbon here, and this is a real, I'm, I'm gonna just, go, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's a flaw. I think it's a flaw. Whatever Cardex, uh, Cadex has done here is, uh, it's a flaw in the sense that they, don't give you an option on this wire, meaning you're gonna kink it no matter what. Because for example, this is the upright way to put this right. So assume it's sitting upright like this, and it doesn't really matter, but let's just say it's like this. When I put this in the quad, I've gotta bend this wire. Unless I wanna to try to stretch it out, I'm gonna be bending it. And that's gonna put some stress on here. And the problem with the cable is there is a, the, um, oh, the uh, pad here, the connection, the connection pads up here, and then where it attaches to the ribbon, it's one very hard piece against a very soft, flexible piece. So what ends up happening is it ends up giving, and that's exactly what happened here, and it broke, uh, it, it broke the uh, connection here. So I could literally get a video if I bent this forward, I could see a video, but then when it sat normal, it would sit like this, and it's broken. It's a piece of junk. I mean, this cable is, I don't understand how a company, how companies in general, it's not just Cadex, but these guys, you know, put time and money into these things. And then they figure out how to cheapify the whole damn thing by coming up with a ribbon like this. Now, I remember when Runcam first did their split and their ribbon sucked. I mean, it was just terrible. You'd think by now everybody would figure it out, right? But then I compare the Cadex Vista to the DJI and even the Cadex Vista ribbons suck. So, but this is terrible. And so this is a pretty bad deal. I was really pissed off about it. Um, Unfortunately, and luckily at the same time, I happen to have one that caught fire. Um, that was, I mean, the drone caught fire from uh, customers that, um, that we did an RMA on. And what was in that fire was also this Tartier. And it, while it was damaged, the ribbon is not. So I went and I grabbed this ribbon and I'm like, okay. And then I was like, well, let's do a video on this. Because if any of you guys ever have to do this, at least you're going to see how to do it and how it would go. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you is I want to show you where it's screwed up. Right, so you can see now I don't have, I'm just gonna hold the, the back plate onto the camera. You, you'll figure it out real quickly here. Um, so I've obviously I've got the, got the metal plate off so we can see where the uh, wire here, where this, the cable plugs in. Let me go ahead and just pop it in there and make sure I got it lined up right. I need my, my magnifying goggles, there we go. Okay, so that's in. Everything's wired here. And I know this is wired correctly, so I'm not going to worry about that part of it. And so now I'm just going to plug this ribbon into the camera. Like this. One second, I need the magnifying glass here, so bear with me, sorry. I cannot see this well enough. I guess I should plug that in first, maybe let me do that. A little easier when I can move this around. There we go. Okay, ribbon is in here. I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. Okay. 
Okay, sorry about that. It's a little hard to see here when you're trying to keep it on camera. All right, so this is plugged in, and you can just see this now. It's just flapping around here, right? So I'm gonna put this back on the um, stands here real quickly because I don't wanna mess it up. So let's just keep it immobile. And now I'm just gonna hold this in here and let me get the, uh, get the power from the DC converter here plugged into my uh, XT60. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. All right, now check this out. Here's the screen. And as you can see, uh-oh, hold on, I gotta turn that off. Crap. I forgot that the buzzer's gonna go off at one in the morning. Doesn't make anybody in this house happy when the buzzer's going off. So let me, let me cap that real quick and I'll get in beta flight and turn it off. Sorry about that, guys. Um, hopefully we don't freeze our video here. Okay, so let me turn this around. Let me cap this buzzer that I put up under here. Hopefully that'll do the trick because this sucker is loud. Okay, we'll try that again. Let's just see. Hopefully it'll, I can do that and then I can just, I guess that'll go into beta flight real quickly and turn that off. Whole goal here is to show you what's going on with the uh, setup and not having to deal with the buzzer. So give me one second. There we go. Okay, let me just go in there real quick and turn this off. Okay, let's go to CLI. I know you guys can't see that. I'm just gonna go to the CLI real quick and type, I believe it's buzzer minus all. So let me just see. No, it's beeper space minus all. That turns it off. Now we'll save that. Okay, so now we're good to go to try this again. I'll leave it in beta flight in case we have any other hiccups. Let me just go ahead and show you what's happening. So you can see the screen here, right? So we're gonna power it up. There we go. And you can see there's nothing here. I mean, I, I get the lenses on. But that's not a necessity right now. What I want to do is just show you that we have nothing. All right. So here's what we're going to do to fix it. We're going to swap the cable. Okay. Sorry, it's taking me a little bit longer because of this little issue with the buzzer. But let me just show you what we're going to do. So let me power this off. Okay. And now here's how we're going to do this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, where's my power tools here? Here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the four screws on the bottom plate of this one. And I'll just do it in the little bit of room that we have left here. Okay, because I, I don't want to have to change everything around right now, so let's just use this little space. There. So take this off. Ooh, maybe that's not the right bit. Hold on. Should be. Oh my gosh, forgot I put this back on myself, and so I put the put the uh, screws in reverse to hold the plate on, so I didn't have to put it on a stand. My bad. So go ahead and just put these on. There's one screw, two. Alright, so the plate comes off. I think you're going to see it may still have some burn marks. I know the bottom part of it does. But you can see the burn marks here. There's some right there. Alright, so we're going to put that aside. Now we're going to carefully take this ribbon off. Just like that. Okay. And now I'm going to remove... Uh, get these screws. Let me turn this TV off. Screws on the back of the camera frame. Okay. And you're gonna need to keep those handy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I put them right in these little squares here. There's one. Ah. Two.
three and four. All right. Need the back plate now. The, this board is fine, but it wouldn't help me if I didn't show you that the other board is also fine. So we're going to take this. And I'm just going to put these aside for now. Put them in a baggie. This because the board is work. It does work, and it will make a good backup board. We we'll put those in here. Okay. All right. Now to get back to our original. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take up this Cadex here. Okay, and this cable comes off. All right, there we go. All right, so that's on. Now I'm just going to wipe these down real quick with an alcohol wipe. I don't need that much cloth, so hold on a second. All right. Usually they would have a microfiber towel to help me, but they're all dirty, so I'm just gonna make sure these are just clean and dry. I just let that air dry a second. So here's the old cable. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, and put it in the bag here, so we can keep track of it. I'll put that back together in a minute. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this on the board. Let me make sure these are, yep, air dry. Okay, put that back on. Take the back plate, put it on. And if the cable was bad, and this replacement cable is what it needed, then as soon as I plug this in, I should see video. And now you know how to replace the cable. And if you have one of these, there's a good chance you will be replacing the cable. And Caddx, if you're listening, could you please put a little bit more time into your wire design? Because this really sucks. I think you guys kind of figured that out already, though. All right. We got one more screw. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. Now, let me go ahead and fasten this back. There we go. So that's in. Let's get the plate now. Make sure our plate is on properly. Now, before I go and do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and power this on and see if we have video. And as you can see, we have camera working. So all it is, is a bad ribbon. And the reason it's, a, let me get the screwdriver. And it's really more of a quality issue. The quality in that cable's just really bad. Um, and I think that, you know, like, cause, cause here's the deal. Once you bring it in, it kinks, you see that? So it's going to kink no matter what. I mean, it, it just sucks, and I wish it wasn't like that, but that's the way Cadex has done it. So if you want to sit this thing close, uh, then you're going to be kinking this thing, and it's going, to, it's going to cause a problem. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the next one. But I can tell you that if it was a recommendation, I would have to say that, you know, unless, you're, unless you just enjoy dealing with something possibly breaking and having to deal with that, I would almost stay away from this camera until they, you know, they either have to give you two ribbons, and they should. I mean, I didn't get two with this one. Um, and at the very least, they should fix this uh, and do something else. But, okay, so that's it, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this up now. I hope that helps you guys. If you have any Caddx 
repairs on your on your tarsier, that's the way to do it uh, to get the ribbon. If you have any questions, please, as always, email me at uh, using our Cyclone FPV page. And please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to show some support. Always appreciate both of those. Okay. So with that said, let me turn this off. There we go. That's it for tonight. I've got a couple more things. I'm actually going to be doing a live build on this tomorrow. And actually, I've got a couple more videos to put out here real quickly. But I want you to see this one because this one I happen to be doing online right now. So again, hit me up if you have any questions. If not, guys, remember Father's Day is coming up. So to all you dads out there, married, single, divorced, whatever the heck it is, man, look, love on your kids because we get a bad rap in court. And that's the damn truth. And one day people start realizing how important we are. All right. Until then, guys, God bless. Spend time with your family. Be safe. You never know how much time you have. So make the most of it. Peace. See ya.